And in this video, we talk about how to connect any SSD external hard drive to your iPad. And it's actually very simple to do, and you can also operate it very easily, but you need to figure out some obvious things. It depends on which iPad you have, so you're gonna figure out this situation with ports. Like, I have the USB C on my Samsung external SSDs, as well as the USB C on my iPad, which means that I need double sided USB C to USB C cable to connect my accessories. So I'm gonna have to use something like this, which is USB C on both sides and uh, you can connect it very easily that way. Once you do connect it, however, you're not gonna hear anything like any notification that it, the, uh, the, the part that the SSD is connected or anything. You're just gonna be able to find it in the Files app, but I'm gonna get to that in just a second. In the case that you don't have the cable or you don't have the, the stuff appropriate for it, you will probably need to use some sort of adapter. So it may happen to you that you have the USB-C to USB-A cable. For that, you're gonna need to use some sort of adapter. I really like this one, which has the USB-C, which I can plug into my iPad, and I can even connect multiple other devices in here. I can plug in my SD card, I can plug in my USB-A ports or SSDs which have these ports or I can even uh, connect in here the small SSD so it really depends on which ports your iPad has because you can even have the iPad with uh, the lightning and it depends on which ports or how you connect your SSD so once you figure this stuff out then it's very easy to, to just plug it in. Anyways guys if you're connected already you can see that I am and uh, like I said no pop-up or notification pops up that you're successfully connected or anything you just have to go to the app library and locate the files app it's going to be in the productivity section so tap on it here is the files app and here are all of the locations so you can see that i have my icloud drive uh, here's my iPad, Dropbox and other stuff and here is the external SSDs and you can see that I have like multiple different things, all of my folders and I'm browsing through the files which are available in here so I can do whatever I want and you can easily just move files in between so for example on your iPad you can just click on the file in here and to perhaps click on the share icon, save it to files and you can navigate to the uh, SSD and save it in here if you want it so click on save now if i come back and I come back to my ssd here's the file that i moved or it's actually even simpler with the drag and a drop because you can simply just grab the file for example i'm moving it from the ssd back to my ipad i'm gonna click on ipad and just leave it in here i'm gonna keep both and i have the files in here and it's actually very simple to do like, it doesn't matter what you use, you can drag and drop almost anything. So I'm gonna go to my photos and here are some pictures of the iPhones and stuff. I can just grab this folder right here, swipe up to come back to the home screen, open up the files app, no, I'm still holding it by the way with my finger. I'm gonna click on my SSDs and I'm just gonna drop it in here. And as you can see, I just added this file from my photos right to the SSD, which is connected to my iPad. So it's very simple to do. You just drag and drop. You don't even have to like click on copy and paste or anything. It's really simple to move files in between the SSD and your iPad storage. Now, if you want to disconnect it, it's not really the same when you compare it to MacBook or the PC where you have to like safely disconnect and then click on a disconnect in the software, then remove it. You can just remove it like this. You're not going to get any warning or anything. It's just going to tell you that you just like removed it. It's just going to make it disappear, but you don't really have any button to like safely unmounted or something so you can just disconnect it like that and you're pretty much good to go i don't think that it should negatively impact your ipad in any way so that would be about it hope the video helped you out i really wanted to show you how this stuff works for more content like this make sure to subscribe to fox tech and also check out the next video right here thanks a lot for watching see you guys later